Commuters in the Canadian capital of Ottawa have another way of getting around the city. As Eagle News correspondent Rosalie Castro reports, the city now has rapid transit. The old train, Ottawa train, Confederation line, light rail, transit finally opens its doors for full service in the city of Ottawa this weekend. Construction began in 2013 and according to the city, it is a state-of-the-art LRT system and the Ottawa's largest transportation infrastructure project since the building of the Rideau Canal. The $2.1 billion project replaces existing diesel-powered buses routing around the city, running from 12.5 kilometers with 13 stations from Blair Road to Tony's Pasture and a 2.5 kilometers underground tunnel in downtown core. The transit system has been a challenge to the city as Ottawa's population continues to grow and rural areas and suburban areas continues to develop. According to the City of Ottawa, transit through downtown accommodates 9,500 to 10,000 customers per direction during peak hours. And the city estimates that ridership is going to grow rapidly over the next two decades. Just to show support, uh, it's a grand opening, a long time coming for OC Transpo, the transit system here in Ottawa. Just wanted to come out here. You know, we're handing out free tickets to Ottawa uh, Rough, uh, Rough, uh, you, Red Blacks game. <laughs> Red Blacks, Fury, as well as um, the 67s, just uh, kind of showing our support and, and getting involved in the community. The new LRT will help reduce congestion and will provide quick and efficient access to commuters. The increase in capacity will accommodate 300 passengers per car. With the development of the Confederation Line, this created jobs and sustainability for the citizens of Ottawa. It is a zero-emission light rail train, reducing road vehicle emissions each year and tons of greenhouse gases and criteria air contaminants. According to the city, the zero-emission electric trains reduces carbon dioxide by approximately 38,000 tons per year by 2031, the equivalent of taking 7,300 cars off the street. The city purchased 34 fully electric Alstom Cytadis Spirit cars designed with maximum vehicle speed of 100 kilometers an hour and an average operating speed is 35 kilometers an hour decreases the amount of travel time. They advertise that you can take your bicycle on it, but uh, the you can take it on the elevator coming into the station, but they have a little uh, kind of thing that you can put on the stairs, but it doesn't work very well. And then on the train itself, there's actually nowhere to put the bicycle. You're just going to stand in the middle with the bicycle, and it's the same for people who have tro uh, strollers as well. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like it was designed for people. I don't know how wheelchairs will go on it either, but uh, it, it I think it'll be a little bit difficult for people that have anything other than themselves to go on. According to Alstom, manufacturer of Cytadis, the LRT system is designed to meet the specific needs of North American cities. Cytadis Spirit is specifically tailored to deal with extreme climate conditions faced by some North American cities, such as Ottawa, with standing temperatures as low as minus 38 degrees. I am Rosalie Castro in Ottawa for Eagle News Service. I am one with 25.